Coming up on Mountain News this morning, one church in Lawrence County is working to help keep the local economy going while raising some spirits. And here in Perry County, we talked to the owner of a local bookstore about how she is keeping her business afloat after new statewide in-person service restrictions. And staying in Perry County, if you are looking for ways to help those impacted by COVID-19, one church is asking for donations to help make care packages. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning. The time is now 632 and my name is Lacey Roberts. Thank you for joining us on Mountain News this morning on this Friday Eve. That's going to bring us a wonderful forecast. We've been talking about it all morning. Let's bring in Brandon Robinson to talk a little bit more about that. We talked about some fog that was moving mm -hmm. through. Um, is that still around? Yes, it is. And you'll see it here just a minute on the hazard cam. We've been talking about not today all morning. We've been talking about this all week getting ready for today. So let's take a look and see what's going on outside the WYMT studios and you'll see the fog is still still dense this morning and it's patchy but it's around so just kind of keep that in mind we're starting to see some more of it 39 Somerset 38 Middlesbrough 37 in Jonesville everybody else in the 40s so far so a normal day on the coffee meter there this morning and your day planner we're going to climb quickly once the fog gets out of here and the sun comes out we'll be in the 70s this afternoon maybe mid 70s for some folks we'll talk about the extended forecast including heading into the weekend here in just a little bit Lacey Thank you, Brandon. And as students and their families wait out the COVID-19 pandemic, many are growing a little crazy. But a new game that keeps social distancing in mind may be one way to make it all just a little bit more bearable. WYMT's Buddy Forbes went on the hunt in Pike County for what many are talking about online. It is a bear hunt and families are locked and loaded into their cars. Um, I would encourage all um, Eastern Kentuckians, whether it be at your business or your residence, to play along, put a bear in your window. To help fight the gloom of isolation, homes and businesses in Pike County are working together. A stuffed bear scavenger hunt to provide a small outing during the unsure days ahead. Eastern Kentuckians have really proven just how strong we are together. Whether they just go for a drive, or take in a little fresh air. I walked out one day to take garbage out and four cars were coming down really slow down my driveway. And there were little kids, little faces up against the window, just pointing and counting. City and leaders are glad to see the kids excited as photos flood Facebook. This, it gives me chill bumps thinking about it because it's a good time to have some fun and some sunshine for our community. Showing how a community can come together with one goal. Field bear trip. hunting, field trip and bear hunting. But Brayden and Emma have goals of their own. I said 30, and I met the goal. We found 33 already. And they are glad to be taking a break from isolation. It's really fun and same. You've been you've been in your house for like a week, and you've been bored for like the longest time now. As they hunt for a distraction. Seth, all you do is play your Xbox all day. A new distraction <laughs> from the worries. In Pike County, Buddy Forbes, WYMT Mountain News. And to find out how you can join in on all the fun, go to our website at WYMT.com. And as schools continue to hold classes in non-traditional ways, teachers are thinking outside of the box for ways to reach their students. Angela Campbell is a second grade teacher at Jackson City School. Monday, she wanted to get out and see her students and make sure that they were okay. Campbell and her daughter loaded up in her car and drove to her students' houses. And when she would pull up, the teacher of 21 years held up a sign that read, I love you and miss you. They were very shocked, I think. You know, some were still in pajamas and, and parents as well, and that was fine. I mean, that's, that's what I expected, you know, to catch them off guard a little bit. Uh, after each stop, I would kind of get a little bit emotional, and my daughter's like, Mom, why do you cry after, you know, you see each one of your kids? And I told her, I said, my baby, if you don't love what you do when you get grown, you need to find another job. Campbell said she reached half of her houses and she plans to get to the others left by the end of the week. 
And one church in Lawrence County is working to help keep the local economy going while raising some spirits. The Table is a church based out of Louisa, and the church has moved to all online services. But they still have some volunteers in the community helping around the area. What they started doing is a campaign called Kindness is Contagious. And what they essentially do is order takeout or delivery from a local restaurant and take it to a business that is considered essential and is open. Something like a hospital or dialysis center. It's, it just warms your heart, like to be able to help in a time that, it, you know, everybody's wondering what's going to happen and, you know, how are we going to manage. Um, it just makes you feel really good. Those at the church say a big chunk of the money used to do this was given to them by an anonymous donor, and they hope to see this trend catch on in other places. And Summit Community Church here in Perry County is looking for help to create care packages. For some of those most vulnerable during this time, just a few of the items needed include oatmeal, peanut butter, canned foods, bottled water, and soap. Pastor Mark Combs says these items can be dropped off at the church. Well, I think it removes from them the worry of, I need this, I can't go out. Does anybody even know that I have this need? Uh, so just the... Just to help them with somebody is thinking about you, even if you don't realize we are. Combs also says that they need people to deliver these packages. To see a full list of items that they are asking for you to, to drop off, you can visit our website at WYMT.com. And as restrictions across the Commonwealth tighten, small businesses are feeling the pinch. As fewer and fewer people are allowed in stores, some are having to get creative. The Red Spotted Newt is a bookstore in Hazard, and in February they were flooded out, and now they are closed to in-store business. But owner Mandy Shuffle says small businesses are picking each other up. Uh, I have been in contact with a few other small business owners here, and uh, we're basically just supporting each other. I mean, just, you know, I have friends in Whitesburg that have a record store. I'm close to the lady who has the Goose uh, gift shop, and, and we're basically just supporting each other, just shoring each other up that, you know, Hopefully this passes quickly. Shovel is doing business online, and we have that information on our website at WYMT.com. Ollie's had its grand opening during the pandemic in Corbin. They opened their new location just off of Highway 25 East on Wednesday morning. Mayor Susie Rasmus is happy to have the new business, but was concerned with the crowds the opening drew after hearing reports of a full parking lot. Rasmus just hopes anyone going inside plans to practice social distancing. That is not social distancing. And while they may be perfectly healthy, if just one person has been exposed to COVID, then that means they have just infected a huge part of our population. Rasmus says the jurisdiction goes to the Knox County Health Department if there were any complaints about the amount of people inside the store. And with nicer weather on the way and some parks closing due to the coronavirus, search and rescue officials in Powell and Wolf counties are expecting more people to crowd into the Red River Gorge. But they say this will put extra pressure on agencies that oversee safety in the area and put more people at risk. WKYT's Adam Bernstein talked with these officials about their concerns. While the governor has yet to close the Red River Gorge, officials from both the Powell County and Wolf County search and rescue teams are encouraging folks to get outside closer to home and avoid the gorge to help further prevent the spread of the coronavirus. According to John May, the director of the Wolf County Search and Rescue Team, in the past week they have already responded to five calls for lost or injured hikers. Of those five rescues, all but one were of people from out of town. With warmer and drier weather returning for a short while, May expects the gorge to become even more overcrowded with people, which could not only help spread COVID-19, but this also puts his team and the local community at risk of the virus. While search and rescue expects to be dispatched over the next few days, May says they're trying to do what they can to keep protected. So when a call comes in, you know, I evaluate the situation and instead of sending 10 to 12 people out for someone that's lost, we'll send four. Uh, so we're trying to minimize the number of people we put in harm's way. Now to help further prevent the spread of COVID-19 here in the gorge, Natural Bridge Skylift has also been closed for the time being. 
in the Red River Gorge. Adam Berniston, WYMT Mountain News. And May says while his team has acquired a limited amount of N95 masks, they are still in need of more and are also searching for hand sanitizer so that they can better stay protected. Not a bad looking morning in Pikeville, but literally in the last five minutes since I pulled this camera up, the fog has built in. So again, it's coming quickly in some locations and it's getting dense. So just be careful of that as you head out the door. Let's take a look at some of those temperatures this morning. They're in the 30s in some spots, actually a little cooler now than it was just a few minutes ago in Jonesville, down to 36 from 37, 38 Middlesbrough, 39 and Somerset, but a lot of folks in the 40s this morning. That's a few degrees cooler, especially down in the Cumberland Valley, anywhere between 14 and 16, 11 degrees colder. Some spots a degree or two warmer this morning than they were this time yesterday. The outdoor forecast, we are going to see temperatures climb quickly as the sunshine makes an appearance. And 74 is our official forecast time for later today. Lacey. Thank you, Brandon. And thank you for joining us on Mountain News this morning. Coming up, as people continue to take precautions, we talked with one local jailer about how they are keeping inmates safe from COVID-19.